the HKTDC Hong Kong International Wine and Spirits Fair 2018, bringing together 1,075 exhibitors from 32 countries and regions. A chance for major producer countries to highlight their best, with pavilions including Verona Fiera of Italy. The cooperation with the ATDC is very important for us uh, because uh, it's a, a long-term uh, cooperation. This year we'll have uh, more than 100 exhibitors presented to the exhibition and that is a good uh, goal for us. In particular, the quality and the varieties of the Italian wine is uh, something very interesting for the market for the Hong Kong market, but also for the Asia Pacific market, and I think also for the Chinese market. We organize not only the wine participation, but also the olive oil participation. The Hong Kong Fair has featured 30 group pavilions, including several new pavilions from the Chinese mainland and attending countries, with the Czech Republic pavilion featuring five different companies. We have the best rosé wines uh, in the world, but we have some special wines like ice wine, straw wine, and for example, this selection of dry trazines. It means uh, you have to uh, collect the grapes if they are totally dry. And for these small bottles, you have to use about seven kilograms of grapes. We want to find some new customers in Asia, not only in Hong Kong, but in mainland China. And this fair is the first step for Asia market. Asia is our number one market really because in terms of our Pisco and our wines, by far this is the, the most important platform we could be participating in in order to introduce our Pisco and our wines to Asia. We want people to realize there's literally hundreds of cocktails you can make with Pisco and that's what we're trying to educate the market with here. The liquor and beverage product zone, the beer zone, and Whiskey and Spirit Zone promote the industry's all-round development, including a pavilion from Niigata, the Japanese prefecture, with the largest number of sake breweries. Of the 90 breweries from Niigata, 29 breweries are exhibiting, and each brewery has selected its best products, with different fragrances and different tastes. We wanted to promote our sake to the world from this exhibition. Hong Kong is a small place, but this is a wine hub, and we want to export to places like the European Union, the Arab world, and countries in Asia. During the fair, some 70 special events, including tasting sessions, thematic sessions, master classes, and educational talks, accompany the second edition of the popular Asia Wine Academy with famous Masters of Wine, co-organized with the Hong Kong Polytechnic University's School of Hotel and Tourism Management. The HKTDC Hong Kong International Wine and Spirits Fair 2018, providing a taste for the future. The customers here are professional. This is not only for drinking, but they are professional and they want to, to learn something new and to buy something new. This fair is a very, very good platform for the wineries to meet the market, to increase the knowledge of the market, to know more buyers. You don't come to the show and feel like you're just around a bunch of boring people who are walking around looking to have a couple of meetings. People here are very, very interested. Most of all, they're very, very educated in terms of the wine in particular.